Now in this lesson we're going to look at the time value of money. It sounds like a complicated topic but it's actually very simple. Okay, You can imagine if I were to have uh, if I were to come to a bank account and it's November and I see that there's a hundred and one rand in this bank account and I know that it earns one percent interest per month okay now then if you just think about it a little bit you'll notice that a month ago there must have been a hundred rand in this account so in October that hundred rand in one month earned 1% of interest and that is 1 rand so there's 101 rand in the bank account in another month it will earn another 1% interest on this amount okay which means the new amount will be 102 rand and 1 cents it will earn 1 rand and 1 cents so now it will be 102 rand at the end of December now do you notice that at different times the value of the money okay the value of the money is different okay that is called the time value of money and it's got to do with the fact that money is earning interest or due to inflation money is worthless but we'll stick to the idea of money earning interest okay so if i look at a timeline again so here's a timeline okay and at a certain point in this timeline i have an amount that that is in this bank account. If I want to know what will it be worth in the future, then I will work out the future value. And how do we do that? Well, we take that amount, multiply it with the bracket 1 plus i to the power of n. It's the normal future value formula for compound growth. And as a matter of fact, this process of finding the future value is actually called compounding. Compounding is to find the future value of a certain present value. Now how about finding a past value? So let's say I want to know what was the value in the past. So what was it at this time? Well it's actually the same formula. Look at that. It is also 1 plus i to the power of n but this time negative n this is called discounting discounting because in the past the value should be less due to the inflation uh, interest okay so how am I going to remember it well it's actually quite easy n just tells me how many time periods I go into the future if it's positive and into the past and then it's negative Okay, so if I'm going in the negative direction on the timeline, I'll use a negative, or in the positive direction, I will use a positive. And it's as simple as that. When we find a future value, we call it compounding, and when we are trying to find a past value, we are discounting an amount. Hope you got that. Briefly, in the next video, we'll look at easy examples, finding compounding um, values and discounting values.